we are on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. It used to be called Airport, Airport Boulevard, and then they had to go change the name to Martin Luther King. But Airport Boulevard was pretty good because it's right by the airport. Okay, I'm going to be making a right-hand turn up here because, like I said, we're going to go see a house together, me and you. And it's 200000 Three bedroom, two bath. Here's Florida Prep, which is a boys' aviation school of some sort. It's private. If you have fifteen thousand dollars a year, you can send your boy here, and he'll sleep here, and they'll take your money. That's right, they will. Fifteen thousand dollars. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the lot. Big lot and the home. Two hundred grand. See that? And then they said the land next to it is for sale. I guess someone put a shed on their land. And then this lot here, this land is for sale too, if somebody wanted it. I don't want it. I just want to get a rental. So land is of no use to me. Let me go up here to the stop sign. I'll make a U-turn. But this here is a nice area, and I'm going to tell you why. The 32901 area code zip code, I should say, is nice because you are literally a minute or two. Well, first of all, you're a minute or two to shopping, gas stations, everything, right? That's one thing. Look at that nice house. That's a real nice house. And that one's going to probably run you about 400000 with inflation right now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, high 300s. Yeah, almost 400 probably. 350 That's a really nice house. That's new. They have a nice RV there, right? Yeah, it's a nice house. But you're so close in this area to shopping and everything. You really are. Downtown Melbourne, and then you got the mall the other way, and you got I-95 10 minutes away. Too bad I-95 wasn't closer, but look at me. I'm talking like uh, 10 minutes is a big deal, right? But it is. If something's not like two minutes for me, I'm like, ugh. I'm a little bit spoiled living here. I'm a little spoiled living in Melbourne because everything's so close, so when I have to go and um, travel more than five minutes. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I kind of think this house looks nice for the money, but who knows with inflation, this house could go for 225, 250, no? That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna get out and take a look. I'll be waiting for my realtor. I'm about a half an hour early, but I do have to walk around and then I gotta make a phone call. Let's see. Oh, I like these windows, you know? Might have to change them to more modern ones, but I love light. Oh, yeah. What a 70s feel this is looking like with that uh, planter in there. I can't see it yet, but yes. And the flooring is 70s. Look at the walkway. This is what you get for 200000 Looks like they started some work. Huh. Okay, okay. Tile on the floor. Hmm. Doors locked, okay. I'll wait for the realtor. But yeah, I guess they were gonna start remodeling or something. Like I said, I love those windows. The more windows, the better. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, more windows here. Nice. With a carport. Nice planter here. I would definitely keep that. That That's a plus. Well, here, we get in this way. Wow, okay. Okay. You know, not, not bad. The kitchen needs cabinets and stuff, but telling you the truth, for $200,000, i am liking it already. What's this here? All locked up, probably a little utility closet. Oh, look, you could come in to your property this way, too. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so you could come in this way or, and then leave that way. Okay. Ooh, more windows. I told you. I like windows. Look, oh, they started to remodel the kitchen and then they stopped, I think. I don't know what they were trying to do. But, yeah, kitchen needs remodeling. Nice piece of land. A lot of trees. I don't know. I don't like too many trees because they could be not, not good for the house sometimes when they fall during storms. AC unit. 
<gasps> More windows. Big ones, though. That's good because sometimes I know I keep saying big windows, but you don't understand how important light is to me. Big windows because when you usually buy, oh, it has a fireplace. I was hoping I could kind of see that from the pictures yesterday, the one picture that was online. Wow, that's awesome. But um, when you get these little tiny, uh, these homes, I should say, that are very old, 30 years old, they put little windows. Come on, you need some sunshine, otherwise you're depressed. You know what I'm saying? Sunshine is good for everybody. It puts you in a good mood. And these windows right here are good. I, I don't know if they probably had them. They don't look too old. In the last 10 years or something, yeah. Those, those look good. These here could be like redone, maybe. Maybe. See how those are longer, more modern? See that? Those are modern. That's what I would love to have over here. Because those might be like uh, jealousy windows that kind of open up. Looks like it's broken right here. Yeah, it's broke. But you see this tree right here? I have someone come and cut down this tree. <laughs> That's what I would do. And the school is right across the street from you. But, um, yeah, this tree here is no good. I think it's a rubber tree. The roots get under the system. It gets into the your, your plumbing and all that. Not good. I'd have that cut off and this trimmed up and maybe even taken away too. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll wait for the realtor. Okay, we're entering in. Got like a planter right here, which I really love. I like that. Big windows. And a really big kitchen. Yeah. It's a big kitchen. And, and it has a, a nice sink. flow to it, you know. It the, does, right? A nice flow. You know, this, that's a dining area. You can make this like a little sun porch area. That's what I was thinking, the yes. The living room. Right, look at this wood. Now it sounded like I was doing the Vanna White thing, and I don't... <laughs> Nice, I bet right? you. Yeah, I bet he was redoing those cabinet doors. I bet you. He took them off so he could do it properly. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. that's the proper way to do it. Yeah. Take them all off. Look it up here. Did you I see up here? they're still here. Yeah, right. I bet he refinished them. Yeah. Look. Is that pretty? I know. That's Look at that great. wood. Oh, wow. And a fireplace. Central air. The area is not bad. No, no right. And a screaming porch out there when you first enter in. Tile on the floor. Carpet under here is terraza, but that's one bedroom. And then you have one bathroom. It's a little oh, small. Oh, I didn't see this Yep, one. it's a small bathroom. Is there a light? It'll do. It's a small bathroom. Oh, there's the light. See? I love it when they put those benches the in benches there. The benches are nice to sit. My brother does tile on the beach. He puts a nice little bench in when he mm -hmm. does it, so ladies can shave their exactly, legs. Exactly, yes. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> really nice, yes. I didn't know they did that back in the 70s. Central air. And here we are, another bedroom and a closet. Double windows, which are always nice for light. You got the hall closet here for your linens. And then we go in here. What's the, oh yeah, you have a closet here. Oh, oh. terrazzo. Terrazzo on the floor. Yep. And look, two closets. I didn't. I kind of missed it the first time around. You have a walk-in here, which is nice. Oh, and, and one then another here. one here, his and hers, and that's a nice one too. And the textured ceiling. And I love They've this. Already done that. Oh, right, right. The ceiling's textured, and uh, so it looks like they took the popcorn right? down and did the. And this would have to be re redone because it has the '70s look of the tile colors, but that's all right. But yeah, all the ceilings are skip trowel. Is that what they call it? It's nice. And then in here, I think he redid all the cabinets, as you can see. It's really nice wood. And they're glossy. They're, they're really nice. But this is a nice home. There's and not down on the walls. Yeah, oh yeah, on the walls. They redid the walls. That's nice, but I love that. Hey, and not down. It's really, really Did nice. You know the cabinets? In here? I did, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, great. Yes, they're nice. Yep, I got those. And there you are. Three bedroom, two bath. Your living room, front door. And, and so you have your living room, but then you have here like a dining room area, a sitting room area, and a large kitchen so what do you with think your washer and dryer. 
Okay, so that was the tour of the inside with my realtor, Betty. And uh, we both agreed this is a very nice home for the money. So I will go home and I'm going to think about placing an offer. It's listed at, I think, one ninety nine nine, so 200 grand. But yes, it was really nice inside. Okay, so I have an update on the property that I showed you guys yesterday. And I called Betty, my realtor, and I did put an offer in on the property. It was listed at one ninety nine nine hundred, dollars so almost 200000 And I placed an offer for one eighty five dollars straight, 185000 and then uh, she emailed it last night. Now, remember this property at 400 Espanola Way in Melbourne, Florida, was only on the market one day. So I saw it at 5 p.m. We sent in our offer around 9 p.m. And by uh, nine o'clock this morning, my realtor let me know that um, they had accepted another offer. And what I'm thinking is they accepted, the, the person probably offered 200,000. They probably gave them the full offer. So I lost out on that one, but that's okay because from what my realtor says is that home prices will be coming down very soon. So I'm going to say in the next six months, I could probably get that same house for $150. I might do a follow-up video, and I hope I'm right because I'll buy at that time. But um, yes, it's sold very quickly, and things in Melbourne, Florida are selling uh, very fast. Like, they only stay on the market for, like, a day, if that. Like, I'm reading one right now. 3150 North Harbor City Boulevard just sold this week, was only on the market a few days, probably closed within a couple of weeks because everything's selling for cash. You got to have cash. This uh, two-bedroom, two-bath home located right on US-1, across from the river. You probably don't even have a river view. It's a two bedroom, two bath, 1,000 square feet under air. And it was listed at like 150, I think I said 155, and it sold for 163. That's $8,000 over the asking price. So that's how things are going right now. Let's see if I could get you a little picture of it here. Let me see. See, that's just the outside of it and stuff, but yeah, that sold for 163 and it's just a small little condo. But anyway, that was the update. I put in my offer and I lost out, but it's okay. I, I'm going to wait. I'm not in a rush. This was just an investment property I was going to buy. So I'll just wait and I know prices are going to be coming down. So I will be doing some more videos like this. If you find it interesting, just subscribe and hit the like button. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much and lots of love from Melbourne. Bye-bye. Hmm. <laughs>